Now let's take a look at and see how we can improve our pictures or our images through cropping. Let's go ahead and open up the image I have selected here. It has a lot of trees in it and it has the Conestoga wagon behind one of the trees. Again, we're going to double click on it. I'm going to collapse my mini bridge. Double click on my hand to resize it and now I can see my entire image. Now I'm going to go ahead and select my crop tool and I'm going to leave my rule of thirds left on so that when I click on the area of my canvas I'll see my rule of thirds grids. Now as you recall the rule of thirds divides your image into a three by three square and the eye tends to go to the intersections of those squares. And right now the wagon is pretty much centered in our square in our entire canvas and it doesn't look very good and we probably have way too much of the brick at the bottom that the wagon is setting on. In addition the tree on the left is a little distracting because it's going in multiple directions. Now it's okay to find images when you're framing them out and taking a picture to use foliage or trees or fences to try and create an eye line or to create a frame in your picture. But in this case, the one on the left doesn't quite work. It's competing with the tree on the right. So let's see what we can do with our image with creative cropping. So I'm going to drag my crop box over and I'm going to see if I can eliminate that tree on the left hand side. Now I may want to leave some of it, just a little bit of it, to kind of give myself a border and to not cut off the wagon so much. And we can see the wheel actually extends on past the tree. Now that actually doesn't look too bad because we are creating a natural border using that tree as a border. Let me bring it in just a tad. I'm trying not to cut off that wheel. And then on the bottom I want to bring it up some because I think the bricks that is being used as a platform, I think there's too many of them and it's kind of overpowering the picture and distracting from the Conestoga wagon which should be the feature of our picture. So I'm going to bring that up just a little bit to remove some of those. Now I'm paying attention to the ground on the right hand side and I may decide I want to bring it back down a little bit to balance off the corner of my picture with that ground with the brick to make it look more even because you want to try and avoid having your image become lopsided and feeling heavier on one side rather than the other. Now right now our bottom left corner we've got a large number of brick we've got part of that tree framing it so we've got a pretty good foundation on our left hand side of our picture and on our right hand side of our picture as we start to come up along the right we see the ground we start to see some of our brick and then we start to see the tree coming out to create a natural frame. I can probably bring it down a little bit from the top just to cut off some of that excess white space that's above the Conestoga wagon because on that day there wasn't much blue sky. And let me go ahead and click my commit key here on my options panel and we can see that it actually has improved our image quite a bit. Again, sometimes when you're taking pictures you're not paying attention really well to the frame that you're creating or the composition you're creating so you can improve it later when you come back into Photoshop. Now you can't improve everything but you can make things look a little nicer in some cases. Okay, let's open up our histogram and let's check out our color. Now here again we've noticed on the left hand side we've got a big gap. Let me refresh it. We've got a big gap where our dark shades aren't all the way to the end. So let's go ahead and create a adjustment layer with the levels. And like we did before we're just going to bring our black point slider from the left hand side into the area where we start to see the white. And I'm going to go ahead and collapse my properties panel. And here we go. So that made it a much richer picture. In fact, it may be a little too rich. So let me open up my properties panel again. You'll notice here my properties panel keeps track of everything that is happening in my layers. And let me go ahead and see if I can bring the white slider over just a little bit to see if we can not improve that. And maybe bring this down just a tad. Nope, we need to bring in the black pointer. I think bringing the white pointer inside a little bit actually helped our image. And I'll collapse that back. And again, we can see how we brought back the rich tones of our image and improved the tone quality. And we can go ahead and save this. I'm going to do File, 
save. And again, I just want to keep it as a JPEG. Now at this time, I could on the top on the Save As dialog box, I could remove the word copy and overwrite my original if I wanted to. I'm just going to click Save as we've done before and click OK. I can now close my image. Don't save. And I'm going to go back to Bridge.